I have really smiling and everything. <laughs> yeah, I'll try to remember. You just try to remember what? <laughs> to smile. Oh, hello. Hello. <laughs> <laughs> Welcome to Sit Your Long Friday. Absolutely. We're having yet another wonderful time. Yes. Actually, I'm really sleepy. <laughs> yes. <laughs> trying to tell these that like, I can't, okay? <laughs> I don't have the energy. But yes, you people do. are looking to Exactly. Go. You will have the energy and you'll pick up and you'll be your usual self. The thing is that I noticed that last week I was feeling a little bit like almost talking too much feeling. It yeah. doesn't show maybe, no. but it felt like that. And I think if I don't eat in the morning, which I usually don't, mm -hmm. uh, and I have a cup of half-calf, Mm -hmm. um, for me, that's like really rushing it. And then you get a little chipper get, from that. Yes, I get a little, um, what do you call that? Yeah. Uh, go too fast. Yes. <laughs> and myself. Good morning, Wanda. Good morning, Wanda. Wanda. <laughs> Good morning, Pandora Gaze. Hi, Pandora. <laughs> anyway, so I just find that, you know, if I don't eat, I'm fine. But if I have had something to eat, I just want to go lie on the couch. And, you know, well, maybe. having something to eat might be good because then you're not as talkative. True. So what I need is something that keeps me awake and yet I can, like, balancing on the radio Awake edge. but slowed down? Yes. <laughs> that, that would be quite the tricky balance. <laughs> <laughs> I think I'm also talking about not just food but also my own psychic the, self the psychology. Because, yeah. you know, when you're... When you, you guys may not realize this, but we're like doing our own thing and we're getting ready and we're doing other things. Absolutely. Trying to get this done and that done. Yeah. And, and so, and then we are going to be on and yes. we're going to be talking to yeah. like hundreds of people. That, that's right. Exactly. I have a few things that I don't do in the morning. What's that? When, before we go on? Before we go on. Yes. Mm -hmm. I, I don't look at my email. Yes. Good idea. And I don't listen to the voicemail. Oh, so that you don't get caught up in it, whatever it is that is happening. That's right, exactly. Those things wait until after. That's smart. And that's right, because otherwise I'm thinking of how I can solve whatever an issue might be. Right, <laughs> then you get caught up in that problem. That's right. And yeah. then that's what's on your mind. That's Instead what's on my saying mind. hello to everyone. Yeah, absolutely. We're going to say yeah. hello to everyone. That's right, because I think a few more have come on. Mm -hmm. So, Suzanne, good morning. Good morning. Jojo. Hello, Hello, Jojo. Mary, Cynthia, Janet, Jennifer, and oh, Loretta. And Janet, I don't know whether we've met before, but if we have or haven't, hello, special hello. Yes. I think I recognize the name. Yes. And um, Jennifer Chiang, I'm not too sure. Oh, I am. Are you? Yeah, okay. you've been here before, haven't yeah. you, Jennifer? Loretta, Sandy. Of course, Loretta's been here before. Elizabeth yes. Lothar, <laughs> hello. You're putting down your needle. No, hi. <laughs> I am so happy. You're the one that just didn't have your mojo, and look at you now. Yeah. You're stitching up a storm. I saw that uh, this morning. She said she was going to be stitching. That's it's so nice to know. On the stitch along, I think. It's such a nice thing to know that you're mm -hmm. sitting there just, you know, stitching. Of course, you have to say something yes. once in a while, so you have to put down your stitching for yes. that. It would, we, we need to do that, too. We should be stitching. Yeah, we should be we? stitching as well. Except for when I stitch, I have a difficult time talking to other people. I was just going to say, then you'd see two people with their heads bent. <laughs> with their heads like down. This. I get involved. So. <laughs> oh, Loretta, you're not late. Good heavens, we only just started. Hello, Denise. Nice to see you. Yep. And looks like Marcy. Uh, sorry, this, I'm just, I'm scrolling badly here. Yeah. <laughs> and Cheryl's here. Marcy Schmidt's here. Nice. It's that Keenzuk gal. Yep. Yeah. What is that? Yeah. I wonder what yeah. that is. <laughs> Cheryl Keenzy. We need to know what a Keenzuk gal yeah, is. Yeah, that's right. Exactly. It's a Zook. No, Zool. Zool. Yeah. <laughs> uh, Patricia Redout is here. Hello. It's good to see you. Um, we have just been going over the list which I created for the first time in a while. <laughs> So now I'm not having to think about, oh, okay, what are we going to talk about next? That's right. Because we have it down. Exactly. And Loretta, I agree with you. Work does get in the way of stitching. Mm -hmm. And even though we're here in a stitching company, work gets in the way of that. Actually, I was stitching yesterday. Yes. I was stitching to teach people how to stitch. Yeah. <laughs> so it isn't quite the same as getting under my magnifying no. light and stitching. And, and designing and stitching. It's not the same for you. No, now. exactly. Yeah. I uh, totally agree, uh, says Loretta to, yes. uh, to Cynthia. Sorry. Yeah. <laughs> Good morning, everyone, from sunny Atlanta. How lovely. And there's a lovely day in Arkansas. Uh, that's so good to hear. By the way, we have 
beautiful sunny weather. We do. You know, we have. Uh, I, I think about it's six um, degrees. Yeah, when I pulled in, it was about six Celsius. Mm -hmm. So that's about uh, <laughs> 44, 45, thereabouts. <laughs> Cheryl says what we didn't understand before. She was trying to spell out the pronunciation of my name. Oh. <laughs> and then I just said Cheryl Kinsey. <laughs> <laughs> I hope that was right. <laughs> All 40 viewers. Thanks, guys. Jennifer. <laughs> Thank you so much for being uh -huh. here. Can't believe that we have so many dedicated and wonderful people come Absolutely. to join us every Friday morning. Thank Definitely. you. Thank you. Thank, Thank you. you. Yes. It already always makes us feel like it's a good thing we got Absolutely. out this morning. <laughs> yes, right. Yes. Yeah. <laughs> I was saying earlier, I don't know if those of you just come on board, that I fe I feel like I should be lying down on the couch this morning. I had breakfast, which I normally don't have, and now I want to have a little yeah. sleep. <laughs> so you won't find me nearly as chitter chattery. Um, Carol says, Hello girls, smiles being sent your way. Waiting for another foot of lake effects. Now. Ooh, oh, oh, oh. Cannot oh. imagine. <laughs> no, no, that sounds really cold. Good hate, morning, Roxy. I hate to tell you, Carol, this morning I was driving along. Um, we have a farm that we drive, or I drive through to get here. Mm -hmm. And the daffodil pickers were out picking daffodils this morning. So <laughs> Yeah, they're about, what, two blocks away from our yeah, house? Yeah, exactly. Yes. Yeah, luckily. They're so close because they're so beautiful and the Absolutely. daffodils actually start blooming. Yeah. Right now yeah. they're just little buds, but yeah. I mean, when they start you, blooming, it's you, like yellow. It, that's right. You can see a little bit of yellow mm -hmm. sh showing through. Mm -hmm. So, Yeah. Luckily, we actually got some pickers. They yes. were having trouble finding yeah. pickers. No, there's a, still a big sign on the highway looking for daffodils. They pickers. do that every year. They, they do. do. Yes. Actually, it's really odd because so many people have lost their jobs, but do you think they would come and pick daffodils? I know, no. right. exactly. I'd I mean, rather get the money from the government. The government. Thank you. It's, but it's beautiful and sunny out there. Oh, no. What a great thing to do on a sunny day. I especially, wouldn't want to do it on a rainy day. No, no. especially okay. young people. I mean, Absolutely. for me to bend over for that long, I don't think yeah, that would I, be good. Yeah. But, you know, when, when I was young, I did strawberry picking and mm -hmm. all sorts of things. Anyway, we should get those young people who are getting their special government dole yes. out here and they shouldn't be able to get money until they pick all the daffodils. I'm thinking the homeless. Yeah, they would be good too. <laughs> That's right, they exactly. Can they don't yeah. have to pick too quickly. You want a free room and board? Well, guess what? It's yes. not free. <laughs> Actually, we have a lot of tent cities here because no, we we're in such a mild climate yeah. here in Canada. So quite a few of the yeah. people that are called homeless um, and I have no idea whether they are or aren't. They just, because that's their that's uh, way right. of living. Uh, and they are, I mean, we have, I don't know, I think it's six or seven different encampments. And yeah. they're also, they've been given hotels and Absolutely. old hotels, but yeah. hotels. And oh, it's just like quite the, oh, uh, yeah. quite the yeah. thing here in Victoria over the last year because of COVID. Yeah. Anyway, good evening. Galliar, sorry, I don't know the name. Galliero. Galliero? Galliero. Yeah. Galliero. <laughs> I, I, I hope we pronounced it properly, but... <laughs> Mary Widritz, we're going to be in the single digits in Iowa. Oh, Ooh. that's going to be cold. Beverly Fleming, good morning. I used to live in Thompson and once in Tokoa. Oh, wow. Well, you guys are talking together, so that's good. Brenda says, good morning, everyone. Doris, hello from a cold minus two degrees centigrade Ooh. in Oakville, Ontario. I'm so curious what the white and gray area is in February. <laughs> Okay, it's on the back of this one, <laughs> but I don't tell you until a little while later. Rain, rain, rain on the North Oregon coast. Hello, Pandora. Carol says, you're killing me. <laughs> I'm not sure what it is, but probably because we're just yapping yeah. away. Good morning, Petra. Yeah. Nice to see yeah. you. Gosh, I didn't think that you'd be here this morning. It's really nice to yeah. have you. Wonderful. And I hope uh, Maya's doing well. So, you know, lots of love sent to both of you because um, her boyfriend is in the hospital with an operation. So hopefully he's healing. Mm -hmm. He's all better now. Uh, Cynthia says, we had 15 degrees of snow on Monday in Connecticut and we're expecting another storm on Ooh. Sunday. Come on spring. Exactly. <laughs> Remember I said yesterday, people really need to and want to know about spring. But want to know, yeah. Anticipating it. Time to move into more colorful designs. I know. You know, I, I did make a little snowy design for February yes. to stitch along. Well, I'm sorry, but yeah. you know, I shouldn't have done it because I have to say out here, we don't get we, much We don't snow. get that. 
food, although we do can get it in February. We usually get yeah. it around my birthday, yeah. mid, mid February. Absolutely. But the, like the majority of the rest of North America mm -hmm. and even mm -hmm. into Europe and definitely into Eastern Europe, in the northern hemisphere, there is still snow almost everywhere in February, Absolutely. right? Yeah. So that's kind of yeah. why I did it because it was more a generic thing. Yeah. And of course, in Australia, you have to turn the whole thing yeah. upside down. <laughs> Daffodil, so nice to imagine. Oh my goodness, that's nice. <laughs> Hello, Sherry Williams. Good to see you. Uh, she has her uh, pattern from the daffodil poem. That's not my pattern, but it is beautiful. It is. Yep. Um, yep. What's it called again? Daffodil fields? No. Da Daffodil sampler? Yeah. yeah, I've forgotten what it's yeah. called, but it's from Linda. Mm -hmm. um, we call her Linda R, because yeah. she didn't want her last name used very often. And uh, she's designed, I think, about 20 um, patterns for us. Yeah. And yeah. Some, they're so pretty. Yeah. So if you want to go and see a daffodil sampler, it's up on our website. And just put the, the word daffodil yeah. in the search box and you'll find yeah. it. Exactly. It is really pretty. Yeah, Calgary is pretty. Yes, pretty cold. Pretty cold. Yeah. Although they can also switch real fast and get really warm. Too. Exactly, exactly. Yeah. Donovan Boxel is here. Good afternoon to you. Thank you, Mary. <laughs> 55 of you. It's so nice to see so many people. And Norma's here. Good morning. Good morning to you. Petra says she's doing good. He needs to get up and walk. And if it goes well, I can go home. Yay! Yeah. Yeah. Yes, I heard that they just don't let you lie around in the hospital no. these no. days. Well, they need that bed, right? There's only so many nurses nowadays to take yeah, care. There's that. But yeah. I think the other part of it is if you could get moving faster, Absolutely. you actually heal better. Yeah. Which, definitely. when you're lying there and you are told to get up and walk around. Yeah. And you could barely move. Yes, yeah. <laughs> absolutely. You to, to get up and move. <laughs> I remember that yeah. feeling when I got up one time, and they said, "No, no, you have to go and walk. You can't have a bedpan. You've yeah. got to go to the you've bathroom. You've got to go to the walk, oh, walk to the washroom." But how yeah. can I even do that? <laughs> and I did. And that's good to hear, Petra. Really good. Uh, Guillermo Stone says, "Well, the spelling is okay. I'm from Germany. It's evening and about 10 degrees. Thank you. At least the spelling was yeah. okay." Yeah. <laughs> 42 days and 14 hours till spring. <laughs> Not that you're counting or anything, Donna. Thanks, Donna. <laughs> Good morning, Gail. Good morning, Gail. <laughs> what are you going to say? I have to say, 42 days, that still sounds a long way away. It still away. sounds a long way away. We're, well, I guess, halfway through yes. winter now. Exactly. Kathy Bird is here. She's late, but hey, you're here. Yeah. <laughs> Tanya has a daffodil pattern. Very pretty. It certainly yeah. is. And uh, Tanya, Petra's not ill health. It's her um, friend, her boyfriend, who is uh, in the hospital, and he's yeah. getting better. Yeah. So that's good. So I want to make sure that you all know how much how much effort and time Lisa spent figuring out how to edit the stitch videos that I made for another reason. So I'm the one stitching. But she's taken clips of that and created her whole own stitch videos that are going on YouTube. Exactly. And, you know, at first it's a challenge. I think I'm getting a little bit better at it. You're getting a lot yeah. better. <laughs> and do you know how I can tell that you're getting better at it? It's because you said, I kind of like editing. Yeah. It's not <laughs> taking as long either. At first, so, I remember yeah. you saying, oh, yeah, okay, I'll do one. Yeah. All right. <laughs> this week I did two. Yeah, good for you. <laughs> Next That's week I might good. do three. <laughs> <laughs> well, you get better okay. and then you Absolutely. feel more comfortable. Yeah. Anyway, she's yeah. um, done, done a great job. So go and have a look on our um, YouTube channel because we have not just our, what we still call Facebook Friday, but basically it's mm -hmm. Stitch Along Friday. Yeah at the top and then on a, on a desktop computer you can really see that and then the next series in a playlist are playlists to do with the stitch videos absolutely yeah and then we even have another one that's called techniques yeah and then the techniques are not stitches yeah. but they're things you might want to know be before you even start stitching some stitching yeah. you know there'll be cutting and and um, we ha I just put a new one up that's threading the needle with your silk ribbon. Absolutely, and that's an important one to do. Yeah. I think we also need to, I had an idea about mm -hmm. another technique video mm -hmm. on how to make templates for finishing. Oh, that's a good one. Yeah. Um, that's in your yeah. daily wear. You know how to do it. Exactly. That's I good. Mean, yeah. Yeah. So you'll have to make that whole video. Yeah. <laughs> Anyway, I think we have some videos that show a lot of finishing, and in yeah. amongst there, we might find one that makes it like a, a little Absolutely, bit. Absolutely, yes. Yeah. That's good. 
And Lisa has done yeah. has stitch videos. Well, yeah, I that, that, not <laughs> quite. You know, I I take your mom's stitch videos and then I shorten them. <laughs> <laughs> so take little clips yeah. <laughs> and then puts music with it. It's really cute. And I must say that you know it's something that I started, but I didn't want to keep doing because I have so many other things well, that's that's true. in that same thing to do. And making big videos for the hard anger teaching, for instance. Yeah. But so many of you, when you're doing the stitch along videos, you kind of really need to know how to do some you, of them. You need some videos on how to do some special stitches. Yeah, yeah. and yeah. even if they're like just a little tiny little yeah. truncated version, then you kind of get what Absolutely. to do. Absolutely, it's going to help along um, when we're doing all the stitch along patterns this year. A year in stitches. Yes. Exactly. And no, Beverly, they're not on the website. They're on the our YouTube channel. Yes. Just look for Victoria Sampler in YouTube. Like you go to YouTube and there's a search feature in YouTube itself, whether you're on your app or you're in the website. And just in that search feature in YouTube, put Victoria Sampler and you'll find our channel and then yes. subscribe. Yeah. Just hit subscribe. Yes. We have over I don't know how many now. No, we have over ten thousand yes, subscribers. Absolutely. Which yeah, is I, like I haven't, I haven't enormous. Checked, I haven't checked recently. I think actually it's probably eleven or twelve thousand. Yeah, around. it could be. Yeah. <laughs> anyway, we have a lot. Which is uh, really cool because that means people are really enjoying and using them. Exactly. Good morning, Karen. Good morning, Karen. Karen Krause is here. Yes, yeah. we're all happy yeah. and healthy. Yes. At least most of us are that yeah. I know of. Yes. Anyway, this week's stitch video focuses on the lazy daisy stitch and that's the reason i start talking about yeah. it because lisa makes the stitch videos and then we talk about it that particular stitch that's right every week and it, it really helps exactly it was actually petra that uh, thought of this idea so thank you petra yes thanks petra <laughs> <laughs> so uh it's a lazy daisy stitch is not a difficult stitch to do it's basically a loop with tied down at one end mm -hmm. So, um, and Daisy Daisy is like a not a very uncommon, it's it, really common, it's really common, but I don't think people do it with silk ribbon very often. No, no, it, exactly. So, and you can use multiple types of thread to do Lazy Daisy stitches, including mm -hmm. silk ribbon, which this is an example of the silk ribbon because it's from level two, number five, and it's the poinsettia. You're going to show the little I'm kit. I'm going to show the little kit. Cool. And then here's the pattern, which looks a lot better than the kit with the plastic. And look at the poinsettia itself is actually made of silk ribbon, lazy daisy lazy stitches. Lazy daisies, yes. And it's also known as a detached chain stitch. So I did throw it on the floor. <laughs> okay. And it's upside down too. My goodness. <laughs> the care you take with your own designs. I just see your face. <laughs> <laughs> now I have to pick it up. She didn't like that at She's all. She's like, my goodness. <laughs> Throwing it around. Anyway. Good thing it's your own stuff. <laughs> <laughs> That's why you did it. <laughs> oh, I'm sorry. Okay, I should stop having breakfast yeah. in the morning. That's right. You're funny. Exactly. <laughs> what did I think of, Petra says? <laughs> you think of all sorts of things, Pat. You <laughs> thought of the idea of having focusing on a stitch at, uh, on our... Oh, we on our, um, yep. we used to call it Facebook Friday, yep. now we're calling Stitch Your Own Friday, so that we could kind of, you know, coordinate and have yep. some things to show people. That's what you thought of, as far as I remember. But maybe you didn't think of yep. it, I don't know. <laughs> we just kept on with it, that's yeah. all. We're giving you credit, Pat, so yeah. take the just credit. Take that credit. <laughs> <laughs> don't ask why. Anyway, Petra is my daughter, those of you who don't know. Yeah. <laughs> Okay, so go ahead and go ahead. show all of the things that oh. you've learned about the stitch video uh, now that you've picked up all of the oh. things that you threw <laughs> on the floor. Well, uh, of course, uh, let's see. Uh, con continuous loop stitch. Sorry, I'm, I'm holding out, you know, something I'm reading and I don't have my glasses on, so it's getting a little difficult. <laughs> but you have used it in several, several samplers. I okay, have so show us some more, sweetie pie. So show you some more. Okay, mm -hmm. I'm going to start with leaflet number one. Oh, well that is like yeah. not too long ago it's it, the longest it's ago. the longest ago it's called the friendship tree at the top is a bear tree absolutely and then when you get some friendship yeah then you get a sheltering tree that's right and so where that's are the right. lazy daisies in the tree 
For the leaves on the tree. Correct, Amundo. And have you seen these lazy daisy leaves before in any of my designs? Yeah. <laughs> Maybe a few. Maybe a few. <laughs> exactly. And so another one, of course, is, and I really love this one, it's the sweet pea gazebo. And I have to find where you put the lazy daisies. There they are. Ah, they're highly likely going to be on the bush. Exactly. So I'm going to start at the top. I'm going to go all the way up. Mm -hmm. Here, let me have yeah, it. I'm trying to plant it like you told me to. Yeah, yeah, no, that's okay. It's yeah. not that you can't do it. Yeah. It's just that it's hard for you to also know what's going on. Absolutely. So where are the daisy daisies? They right are down there. on that little bush there. There with the little, little bunny. And the cool thing about this pattern is it's perfect for spring. Absolutely. And this is where I'd like to sit on this hardanger bench. Mm -hmm. It actually worked really well, this hardanger bench. It did. In the sunshine. Really adorable. Anyway, so um, this is the one with the sweet peas on the yeah. side. Sweet and peas the, and bebos. Um, what do you call this? Clematis on the top. Mm -hmm. Very nice. And then the next one is a little, one of the little garden samplers. Excuse me, and it's called the Cottage Garden. So there's a little cottage. I think we showed this quite often, don't we? Yeah, it has a lot of it it has a nice lot. little stitches. And the lazy in it. daisies are right there. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. They're actually not they're, that good on that one. No, I think I could have made them a lot smaller. A lot smaller, yeah. And Donna maybe says with one that strand. She, she messes them up all the time. And honestly, yeah. you don't, Donna. Yeah. <laughs> I've seen your lazy daisies and they're lovely. Yeah. But there are ways to do lazy daisies, I believe that you can use counting with them absolutely and definitely if, if you decide yeah. for instance you're going to make lazy daisies in a diagonal then count how many the first lazy daisy mm -hmm. the one that you like is going to have mm -hmm. how many intersections it's going to have um, and then when you decide to come up in that far away from where you first you come up <laughs> and then you're going to go down yeah. right and then you have to find the place where it ends and it's yeah. and where the where the tip is going to be where the uh, little tiny stitches that keeps it um, in place is that's going right. to be and that's I think counting that out it's not always that easy exactly and I think the other thing is to remember to keep the loop loose mm -hmm. not pull it tight not otherwise it, it looks tight. like a straight stitch that's right yeah so those are a little bit technique rather than the actual stitch itself and I think because we are working now with things like French knots or mm -hmm. lazy daisies they are more like um, a kind of a um, stitch that isn't about counting. Mm -hmm. It's yeah. more like a um, expression, an artistic expression. Yes. That's why, because they're not perfect, <laughs> like you yeah. know, you're going to end up feeling like uh, you do when you're working with silk ribbon. It's not strict. It's not according to a pattern. Mm -hmm. So you're the one that is the one that's going to make it, and then we tend to criticize yeah. ourselves yeah. more often yeah. than we actually need to. Yeah. So honestly, Donna, you're you're it, just fine. Exactly. <laughs> and Gail says that template video would be awesome. I finished the sewing and then it sits. I have a question about how you clean a small piece that still has a crease down the middle. I think it is soiled. Hmm. Well, long as you know, um, if you have a piece of material that's soiled along the crease, that's about the hardest thing to clean. Absolutely. Definitely. Yeah. Yeah. And I remember hearing how you do that. And of course, you're always going to have a little bit of a crease showing. But if it's not soiled, uh, that crease, then you are going to be able to use that linen. But mm -hmm. if it were me, I don't know if you were you, but if it were me, I wouldn't use it. Absolutely. No. I know it sounds funny, but yeah. you're going to put all this work into it. Yeah. Buy yeah. another piece. Yeah. If, if it's soiled and on a crease, yeah, I, I, I wouldn't use it. There are ways to get the creases out. Mm -hmm. And there are ways to get soil out. That's right. All of those yeah. things can be done. And we'd be happy to put those in as our techniques. Yeah. But when it comes to both at the same time, it means it's an old piece of fabric mm -hmm. too. So the soil yeah. could have been accumulating for years. Uh, absolutely. Or months or whatever. Yeah. So that's even harder to get out. As you know, yeah. with any laundry, you know, if the soil or some stain has been in the laundry for a while, mm -hmm. it's much harder to come yeah. out. So your best bet is to, if you can afford it, to buy another piece of fiber. Buy, buy another piece. And yes. if you can't, yes. that's understandable. Work at it. You it, know, steam it. A, exactly. I think, <laughs> not, you know, maybe soak it in some very mild, like, dishwashing liquid mm -hmm. or, 
or ivory or, or something like that. And when it's wet, I heard for creases, if you dam um, dampen it and then put it in the freezer for a little bit. Yeah, I've heard that too. Yeah, and then take it out and then uh, let it dry and iron it, then that takes the crease out. But I've never had any problems with creases. I just iron them out and... Creases are not the big deal. It's the stain. The, it's the, yeah. And you don't want so to do the stain yeah. after you iron That's it. That's right. Exactly. <laughs> Please, yeah. don't yeah. start doing don't, anything Don't about... iron until you get the soil out. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. The soil has to be gone. De uh, Donna says lazy days is easy, and we've already gone through that. And I'm yeah. hilarious, apparently, throwing yeah. things around, yeah. I guess. <laughs> Well, you are. Yes. Petra, you're very yeah. smart. Yeah. <laughs> you're the smartest. Kathy says, the friendship tree is one of my favorites. It's one of mine, too. It's one of mine, too. And yeah. you know, that was one of the first, well, it is yeah. the first one we put out, but it was one of the first ones I designed after White Christmas. Absolutely. And for yeah. some reason, I ended up putting friendship tree friendship. first. Yeah. Which was it's, it's a good beginner piece because it gives you a, a lead into doing specially extensions. So. Yeah, it does. Yeah. Uh, Tanya loves a sweet feedback pattern, mm -hmm. and so does Gail, and you, she calls it a sweetheart gazebo, yeah. which is a nice name. <laughs> Not quite, it's sweet tea, but that's okay. Uh, oh, there you are, Gail, you've already corrected yourself. Yeah. Jennifer <laughs> says, I love the freeform look of Lazy Days. Exactly, yeah. that's the word Absolutely. I was thinking of, or the yeah. two words, freeform. And when we're counted people, uh, absolutely. we just want everything to look yeah. strictly. To, to do anything free doesn't feel right. Sometimes. Somehow <laughs> we can criticize ourselves yeah. a lot. Gail says, thank goodness it's a small piece. I'll just do it again. Yeah. Thank you. <laughs> Good idea. Oh, you mean you've got the soil on a stitched piece. Uh, uh, I thought it was just the fabric. Oh, uh, yeah. Well, then you can't just throw it away. No. No, no. I, d I definitely do the, uh, again, trying to get the soil out. Yeah. Soaking, 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 soaking. Yeah. And then um, making sure that the, um, the stain is out before you Iron, iron it, it and then see if yeah. you like it. And iron it on the back. Not, Absolutely. Yeah. With steam. Yeah. <laughs> uh, okay. If it's stained. Oh, you could dye the fabric and use it for another project. Exactly. But yes. I thought that this was just yeah. fabric and we found out now that it had already been stitched yeah. on. So, yeah, you can always do it again if you don't like it the way it is. Petra says, Friendship Tree has a nice story. It really yeah. does have a nice exactly. story. Yeah. And I think we'll talk about that sometime. Yeah. But not right now because we have all these things. We, we do have show. some models, some more models. Hello, Patty England Dag, you're here. <laughs> yes, do watch and watch again. The next model, and this, I love this one. It's called Golden Dream. We did this as a tr retreat like probably 15 years ago. Oh, longer. So. 20 years ago? Maybe. I it don't know. 20? It was, no. a, anyway, it could be 20. This anyway, one retreat it's piece. called actually 2000. So, yeah, 21. Sorry, time flies. <laughs> it was done here in Victoria it, at the Harbor right, Tower. Exactly. I remember exactly where. The so, bar room in the, the Harbor Tower. The bar room, mm -hmm. the Golden Dreams. And let me see if I can get closer. And the Lazy Daisies are on the tree there. They're always on the tree. They're I always use on them the all tree. the time. Or on the, down here on mm -hmm. the spine there too. And what else do you have? You yeah, have lots over I there. Have yeah. Do you want me to throw this on the floor too? You can do whatever you want. I'm not going to panic about it anymore. <laughs> I'm sorry. Throw it on the floor. <laughs> I thought this one had lazy babies. But Here, let me find it. You'll find it in the next one, okay? <laughs> I can't tell. Oh, this is actually a really cool one for now. I'd forgotten mm -hmm. all about this mm -hmm. one. No wonder you want to show it. I'll find the lazy no, lazy. Yeah, exactly. Okay. Now this one is, did I show this one already? I feel like I showed it. Maybe I have before. Mm -hmm. Nope. Oh yes, you did. You just did. I did? A few minutes That's what ago. I thought. Oh gosh, we're okay. losing our minds. Okay, here. definitely losing my mind. It's Friday. I've been working all week. Yeah, that's your excuse. <laughs> it is, and I'm sticking to it. <laughs> Okay. okay, so I can't find any lazy daisies no. in this one at no. all. But what I did find was a Valentine girl. Yes. Come on, this is such a cute little angel. And because it's called V is for Valentine, it's one of the um, one of the alphabet samplers. Yes. And you could take this part out and just stitch it. Come on, this would be so fun to stitch for Valentine's Day. And then of course there is apparently a 
lazy daisy in here somewhere. And if you can spot it, yeah, I don't know. Yeah, you're it's, better than we are. Exactly. I don't see any. I see some I don't see any French either. knots on the far side. Yeah, yeah. No. You probably got kind of carried away because it has um, a Valentine girl in it. It could be. Maybe that's why I pulled it. But I thought it had. Um, it's very cute. cute. It doesn't matter. Uh, this one is Desert Garden, and it's also one of the little garden campers. Okay. There, thank you. And is this where the Lazy Daisies are also? Uh, Lazy Daisies are further down. Okay, here I, we go. I love the little quails on it. <laughs> I do too. I, I believe they're down on the little vine there. They're at the flowers. Gotcha. Big, the flowers themselves yeah. are Lazy yeah. Daisies. The flowers themselves are Lazy Daisies. Yeah. And then they're on the tree, of course, as well. Yeah, always on the trees. I do use them a lot on my trees. You I'm do? I'm sorry. Yeah. I, so, I, didn't want to count how many times you've used lazy daisies, but you have used them quite a bit. Thousands of times. Yeah. And then, of course, I love this one. I need to stitch it, I think, but I haven't yet. This is the sister sampler. And this is hard to get to. Isn't it, it is. I'm going to see if I can move my move, tea. Move your tea, that's a good idea. And then see if we'll look at it this way. That's right. Because we have a desk here, so it's yeah. really hard to see the top properly. But is there um, lazy daisies anywhere around here, or is it just at the top? I think I also saw them as flowers, too. Oh, let's hope so. There's no, that's not them. Okay, where, 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 where? There, there they are. <laughs> okay, these are actually really cute. And I should say that. I know I shouldn't say that because I they are them. really cute. <laughs> I just wonder who designed it. <laughs> They're so funny. When they see these like way later after I've done them, I think, hey, that's <laughs> who thought of that? <laughs> oh dear. No, modesty is not one of my virtues, obviously. So that's all the models I have for Lazy Daisy on my side. You know what? You have a lot of models. You had lots. I had lots of models, but we also want to do it. Sorry, I'm reaching. My tea is in the way. Exactly. So I have to show this one. Okay. This is Tea Roses Pin Cushion. And the Lazy Daisies, of course, are the leaves. All around the bullion knot All around roses. the bullion knot flowers, yeah. Roses. You know, those bullion knots are really fun to make. They and then are. the Lazy Daisies, too. I mean, what could be better? Exactly. I have just put the fabric on roller bars and start stitching this. This one in yeah. particular? This weekend, I oh, think cool. I'll, I'll start on it. And I just love the colors. Unfortunately, I don't think I have another button like that. You know, showing this pincushion actually leads me into what I wanted to talk about. I figured a little bit. it would. Yeah, yes. she's so yeah. smart. <laughs> but Sharon McLee says TJ's is the kids store in Victoria sells a great bar soap for stains. Oh, good. So if yeah. you need to look and at um, uh, anything to do with stains, Sharon McLeese has some information for you. She says there's she doesn't remember the name of it, but it's very mild and removes all oil and organic stains. Yeah. It's by the cash register <laughs> in TJ's. And I don't did not know in that this is in Victoria, which okay, yeah, uh, it's by the cash and used for years on needlework or sewing trees. Okay, so that could be one of a number of things um, uh, as far as soaps are concerned. We always use things like, um, what was the name of it now? The, or, or, or Orbis. Orbis. Thank you. That's yeah. the one. And, and that could be what you're looking yeah. at. But honestly, just saying to people that it's only in Victoria <laughs> yes. isn't going to help them very much. Exactly. But and, thank you, Sharon. And why would you need a stain remover for kids? I guess they get into yeah. a lot of organic trouble. <laughs> could be. Lazy Daisy is, is in the weeds near the top. Oh, okay. Remember yep. we couldn't find yep. Lazy Daisies in Valentine's? Thanks, Jennifer Gowland. And He's so smart. In the weeds at the top. In the weeds near the top not in the top is it in here somewhere i don't think so we can't find it anyway there's anyway, a, also you. there's a question from carol lamon what's the animal with a v vixen I vixen think. yes <laughs> female fox <laughs> oh dear kathy bird says lazy daisy stitch on the v sampler is used on the bow the angel is holding oh you are all of you yes so thank smart. you found it <laughs> Okay, we have to show. Yeah. Okay. The so, bow the angel is holding. Ready? I'm just going to hold this. There it is. <laughs> <laughs> Only one strand, and it was really, really light. Well and, done, Kathy. Yeah, thanks, Kathy. 
<laughs> uh, Sharon says the soap is very mild and I've always been able to remove any soda from my work. Yeah. That's great. Good to know. Um, beautiful pin cushion. Yes. So true. Um, Kate Berziak says, thank you for your wonderful tutorials. I'm currently working on a replication fan for doing eyelets and someone in that group recommended your tutorial. Thank yeah. you. I'm glad you like it, Kate. And is that the one on YouTube channel? Probably is. Jennifer Chung says Orvis. That's yeah. right. And thank you. Yeah. Oh, for diapers. Of course. <laughs> organic. I thought you knew what I was talking about. No, it's I did not. Organic. Anyway, this Sorry, is... I've not had children. No, so. so it makes quite a difference. So this size, which is belongs in this, um, what do we call this one? It's, it's the Etcetera Pin Cushion Tray from Sudbury. Sudbury. So that size also fits exactly on our pin cushion forms. Mm -hmm. And I wanted to show you these because we haven't shown these for some no, time. And for a while. There may yeah. be a bunch of new people here yeah. in our um, live presentation. And I thought you might like to see this pin cushion live. So what we do with this is we oh. make these kinds of little, that? yeah, these kinds of little um, mm -hmm. accessories. Mm -hmm. And if you wouldn't mind opening it to open show. It up because it's actually you got to... a piece of wool felt in there to put your needles. That's right. Do we include the wool felt in our packing, in our app? Oh, off the top of my head, I can't remember. But it's I possible we that we do yeah. because we can get it, but uh, we'll have to see if, yeah. you, um, if it's also involved. And this is the strawberry that goes with it as well. And on the other side, you'll see the strawberry yep. on the strawberry. Mm -hmm. And this is, of course, called the strawberry pin cushion because there's strawberries on the top. This exact pin cushion, though, also fits on the etc. one that That's we were right. talking about earlier. Exactly. This one. There is another. So, yeah. and I also wanted to tell you about this because this um, um, wooden base we also have on our website and i believe um it's not on sale right this minute but i'm going to put it on sale mm -hmm. um for uh i think it's 10 percent off so you can also get one of these and don't forget um when you get one of these you can actually take off the top you can leave it so it's not glued mm -hmm. and you can take off the top and put another one on if you want to yes right so that's yes. possible yes. with these thank you what I did want to do is have a design consultation with you. Yes. Now that you see this, and it doesn't have to have these things with it, I want to make another pin cushion like this, another pin cushion design mm -hmm. at the top. And I invite you now to give me some suggestions as to the theme. You had some ideas I earlier do. today. Yeah. So what kind of theme do you think would be cool with this since we have had this That's one right. and we have this one exactly yeah here let me a bumblebee one was bumblebee, that one it's yeah called? on green and you know when i take these off it kind of looks a little bit better okay. so that you can see all the bumblebees and the lazy no those are not lazy daisies they're not they're they're just daisies they're just daisies <laughs> <laughs> anyway and this one that yeah. has a little pin cushion and, exactly and another little pin cushion each kind yeah, of like a little, purse little needle minder again right so that's two patterns uh -huh. And so this one's the bumblebee one, that's the strawberry one. And then there's one that's called the Victorian pin cushion, which is the one that started it all, which has all these different things on it. And the top is like this. It's all a cluster of um, ribbon, silk ribbon actually, yeah. uh, ribbons, etc. So I'm just gonna take these off. This was one that came with the original uh, pattern, which is a bees, what do you call that? Beeswax. Beeswax heart. Yeah. And then this one and this one that was the original cute little strawberry. strawberry and then this one which was the original pin piece and had a little pattern on it that goes with all the Victorian things and then of course this is the pin cushion with this beautiful fabric which we can't yeah. get anymore no. but there are fabrics that have that pale pale yes. green yeah as well so those are the three patterns that are available yeah. So if you have any ideas, let me know because I'm looking for ideas. Design consultation, please. I've given you my ideas. Yes, you have. Yeah. And let's have a look and see if anyone's coming up with any other ideas. Okay, there was four of us. Yeah. And diapers. diapers. <laughs> okay, and there are 65 yeah. of you here. Thank, thank you. you for coming <laughs> and thanks, Loretta. Just watched the Ribbon Lazy Daisy YouTube video. It's a great help. Oh, good. Thanks, Deborah. 
And Suzanne says she loves the strawberry and bumblebee cupcake because yeah. it's good. Do you have any other ideas, Suzanne? Bullion roses, also gingerbread for the pincushion possibilities. Okay, that's yeah. one idea. Yeah. Thank you. Yeah. Actually, Margie, that's a, an idea that I think we will already yeah. considering. Yeah. I thought poinsettias. But this is different, not yeah. gingerbread, but yeah. poinsettias. Point, point. Yeah. And then it says, where's the post on top? Hmm, what post on top? <laughs> Wanda, tell us what the post yeah. on top means. <laughs> Thanks, Loretta. <laughs> Loretta and Suzanne, you guys, you really counted. Thank you, thank yeah. you. Oh, violets on purple. Oh, yeah. nice idea. Mm -hmm. Thank you so much, Jojo. Violets yeah. on purple. Yeah. Mm. Or violets on creamy yellow. Yeah. You yeah. know, because if you have violets on purple, you have purple on purple. Yeah. I'm not sure yeah. that I'd like violets yeah. on purple, mm -hmm. but I'd like purple on something else. That sounds yeah. like a really nice idea. Oh, <gasps> dragonfly. Dragonflies. You know, yeah. what if we make like a fake dragonfly that sits on top of the pin mm -hmm. cushion? Mm -hmm. Would it get in the way of us putting pins in it? Yep. Hmm. Right. Hmm. The embroidered pin, uh, the embroidered dragonfly is a good idea. Yeah. But I like the idea of having some blossoms that a dragonfly could like sit on top of. Yeah. You could uh, probably get some dragonfly pins. I wonder if we could. You probably could. We'll have to look that up yeah. and see if we can get some. Anyway, I love the dragonflies yeah, idea. Absolutely. That's really nice. And of course, Christmas and gingerbread. Cynthia, thank you. Betsy Jones says, where can I get this? Betsy, you have to be a little bit more specific. Exactly, because there's a time delay. So we're not too sure. Are you talking the pin cushions? It would be good yeah. to know. Mm -hmm. uh, you will be able to get it. Uh, if it's the pin cushion, you yes. will be able to get it in the future, as later on, like in another hour or so, yeah. it'll be up on our sale page. Just look yeah. in our website and look for a sale page. And then, you know, if you still need to, you can always, um, you can put it into your, what do you call it, into your uh, shopping cart online. Mm -hmm. And then you have to add in a discount code into the discount code box, or you can't get it on sale. Yeah. Kate Borzak says, hearts. Heart. Yeah. Yeah, Valent. I mean, I do so many hearts. You do. I love yeah. hearts. Yeah. I can see a whole pin cushion full of hearts. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. What kind? Doesn't really matter. Just hearts. Oh, well, you're not hearts. <laughs> <laughs> stop. Stop. <laughs> no, they're all going to go, no, no, not more bullion. <laughs> Aw, oh, having trouble figuring out when come on live in Southeast, and I don't know what MO is, but I think it's Missouri. Missouri. Uh, yeah. If you sound like you're on the East Coast, we're on the West Coast, so we're probably three or four hours ahead of you. Yeah, we're Pacific Standard, or yeah, yeah. Pacific Standard Time. We're Pacific Time. We're not, we're not daylight yet. Nobody's so. daylight here, so we're just Pacific Time. Yeah. Which probably in Missouri, I'm thinking three hours. Yeah, you um, might be Central Time. Are you possible at central time if that's the case then it could be two hours two to three hours what what time are you yeah are you eastern standard central standard mountain yeah. i don't know what time are you just to let you know right now for us is 10 quarter after 10. oh what a good idea to yes. say that yeah yes it's 10 a.m in the morning or quarter yeah. after 10 in the morning yeah. pansies and ladybugs okay yeah. she's making me drool i like the pansies and ladybugs that sounds good okay are yeah. we going to write these down no we, we should probably definitely. should yeah here here you want to write them down on anything pansies and ladybugs okay please and um and dragonflies um what else was it hearts yeah um gingerbread those are the ones i remember Cheryl likes an autumn theme. Now that's a good idea because mm -hmm. these other ones are mostly, these two anyway, are more summery, spring and summer. And so having an autumn theme would be a nice change as far as the colors are concerned. I like that idea. And um, roses. Well, we kind of have roses yes. here. So I know they're not the same kind of roses you're thinking of. You're probably thinking cross-stitched roses, but I think I'll stay away from those for yeah. now. Yeah. Um, because they're easy uh, to find elsewhere as well. Denise likes black cats for some reason. I bet you have some. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> it could be also that black cats are more Halloween-y, not sure. Donna likes violets as well. Yeah. Did we have ever I, write down violets? I did put violets down. I really like that violets thing. And then I really like the little ladybugs. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Those are great. Nautical pin, pin cushion. Thank you, Deborah. 
a little bit nautical, a little bit naughty, nautical. Yeah. <laughs> Lily of the Valley. Yes, it, Pat, that's a good idea too. That's a very European idea, is Lilies of the Valley and the early harbinger of spring, as my friend Barbie often says. And fall with acorns, which is the fall theme. Yeah. I, we get that, thank you. A beach pin cushion, thank you. Uh, that's good. And um, Brenda the Fire says 11.30 a.m., so she's checking with um, Pat, which is great. Oh, palm trees and seashells. That's very mm -hmm. tropical. Mm -hmm. Thank you. And the post that the needle book was hanging on. Okay. So the post is part of the pin cushion, right? So the needle book is on it. And this whole thing is all one. Yeah. So you get everything, okay? Exactly. If you're talking about these posts, they're for uh, schools of thread. And this post is all part of the pin cushion. Yeah. You have to buy the whole wooden pin cushion for that. Not sure whether we're answering your question because it's a little hard to remember. Yeah. Do you remember what she said yeah. about about that? Thank you, Wanda. Maybe email me. <laughs> I can't remember. I can't answer everything. Uh, Tanya says something autumn leaves, etc. Apples, acorns. If you're doing flowers, I love poppies. Poppies, says yep. Norma. Or pumpkins. Whoa, yes, Carol. That's what I was thinking. A little stump work would be mm -hmm. unbelievable on one of these. And cardinals, frogs, mm -hmm. wow. And Pat is on central time. Yes. So she's two years, two, two years. Two, two hours. <laughs> two hours two ahead. Hours, yeah. So it would be 11.30 your time. Yeah. Right now. Right now. Yeah, mm -hmm. exactly until March. Yes. So we start two hours before, right, at 9.30. Yes. Right? So for you, that would be 11. 11.30. 11.30. No. Yeah. 11.30 11 central time. When we start. Yes. When yes. We start. Okay, good. Yeah. So right now yeah. it's ten sixteen pro probably yeah. twelve sixteen yeah. at your house. Exactly. Oh, phew. Okay. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> it can get very confusing. Okay, I'm not gonna look any more right now. I'm gonna look later because we have so many more things to talk about. Yeah. And one of the main things that I also want to talk about is and I'm not gonna talk about it for like a lot. I'm gonna show you what I was thinking and doing last weekend and I'm gonna ask you to see what you think this is okay it's three-dimensional and it's a paper model and you can decide what do you think this is and that's all it's the question of the day and also we are going to want to show them what's going on with the stitch along yes because yes stitch along is coming now that means it's towards the end of our chit chat yeah also um Remember the sale, and the sale is going to be released on our uh, website on the on sale section. So you just read what it says there, how to get the uh, products on sale. Okay, you have to use the discount code box, and I'm going to send out an email so that you all know what to do. But I didn't want you to have the feeling that um, uh, that you're going to hear from me right away. So you can yeah. go and find the rules and <laughs> the sale. And if there's anything on sale, it'll say it right there. Absolutely. You don't have to wait yeah. for the email to make it happen. Yeah. But I haven't put the um, pin cushion on yet, so wait until I do yeah. that, okay? And violets and, oh my goodness, acorns. There's a lot of acorns. Oh, <laughs> this went 15 minutes oh. over her lunch. <laughs> Nutcrackers. Oh, I love all these ideas. You guys are great. You know, I'm going yeah. to do design input more often. Absolutely. You know, now I'm starting to see yeah. <laughs> that there's actually, there's a pattern here. There are a lot of people that are asking for autumn. Yeah. And, yeah. and oh, there's yeah. a lot of people that are asking for more flowers. Exactly. With yeah. bugs. Yeah. You guys like bugs. Or I like the yeah, swans. Oh, exactly. Hello, yeah. Claudia Hernandez. Oh. <laughs> from Mexico. Someone saying little red wagon. <laughs> okay. I just... <laughs> I don't know why, but some of those ideas are just amazing. No, I think she was meaning Oh, that. you're guessing what they are. They're wagons. Gotcha. Okay. <laughs> oh, I love cornflowers. And train, train, train. You got it. You got it, you got it, you got it. And it's a gingerbread train. That's right, Donna. Okay, so it's happening. Yeah. Uh, really slow. You guys are good. Christmas train. You got it. Look at that. Yeah. That's that smart. Anyway, it was really fun to, to create the whole train. Um, we're not, we're still deciding how yeah. to make the wheels work. 
So it's going to be a fairly long project, but and I'll be doing other things like the pin cushion and in the meantime, but the train for the gingerbread village is correct. What's the difference between Lugana and Belfast? Belfast is 32 count and comes from Ireland. Yeah. And, and Lugana, it's a, a linen, whereas um, it's a natural fiber. That's right. And Lugana is man-made. Yeah. You don't get the little thin and thicker knobs yeah, threads or anything yeah. like that. In Lugana, it's all very straight, man-made, and they're coming 25 uh, and 28. Yes. As far as I know. Yes. So Belfast is usually 32 count. E exactly. Uh, flowers that attract butterflies. Yes, exactly. Yeah. Yes, 70 Suzanne yeah. Healy. Thank you, my dear. And uh, somebody else is answering oh, about thanks, that. Tanya. Thank goodness for shut in. I wouldn't get anything done. Yeah. So, so true. <laughs> That's really true. Well, thank you all for being here. I'm really glad you were here. Oh, yeah, I want before to you the forget. Stitch on. I almost did. I mean, I wish I could just say that. No, I was fooling you, yeah. but <laughs> I really almost yeah. forgot. Okay, you guys, you're ready. You're ready. Here we go. It's coming. And there they are. The cute little stitching lovebirds. They're, oh, sorry, skating lovebirds. Yeah. <laughs> so that is going to be your um, February part two. Hope you enjoy it. And now you can see why it's so important to have done all of the other stuff uh -huh. first. It's not usually how I like to divide up my stitching for you because it's very boring to know what you like, what That's are you right. going to be doing with that? Exactly. Why is it just all white? And yeah. <laughs> you know, some of you kind of guess the fact yeah. <laughs> that there could be snow, which is good. Um, and if you, uh, in for some reason, had made it gr uh, green, fine. I mean, it doesn't matter what color you made the mountain or what color you made the hearts. I've seen some lovely things, mm -hmm. um, especially when mm -hmm. the hearts turned into sort of soft pink. Yeah. Really cool ideas. So I hope you enjoy that. Enjoy your. Uh, skate little skaters this yeah. week and our little sale yeah. and what are you going to do what am i going to do today um i was thinking of leaving early yeah here she does it again <laughs> i don't know she did she left early yesterday now she's going to leave early again today but she have to go home and work oh well in that case <laughs> <laughs> other than that i do have some layout i need to finish and you know that kind of stuff so oh, well, right we'll, we'll see how the day goes i may not end up leaving early because you know i think i might leave early and then other things come in but it's so. a it's a nice idea to even think about for yeah. friday because i know leaving early feels so good and, and it's beautiful and sunny outside so mm -hmm. that's yeah. true yeah. <laughs> thank you i'm yeah. so glad that you like it betsy i'm really glad that you're here and it looks to me like somebody wants, Mary Jean wants a nutcracker or two using lots of beads, like in your design, the gifts. Thank you. Yeah. <laughs> I appreciate that. Also, great ideas. Any other ideas that you have, by all means, send them to help at victoriasanford.com. Uh -huh. We have an email yeah. that's for one of our uh, stitcher, uh, sorry, one of our employees, and she will receive those suggestions and send them on to yeah. me, no problem. Okay, I hope you have a good yeah. weekend. Exactly. I hope you have a good weekend. And yeah. until next week, bye-bye.